Just the other day, I received a message from Mark, the segment, asking if I wanted to join a YT group ride. I was completely not aware of this since I live under a rock, but I was glad I joined because this was what I would have missed. Rolling. Wow. Let's <laughs> see how you been. Ellen and I wanted to get a head start before heading to the party, so we decided to take a few laps down hires and fills, one of my favorite trails here in San Clemente. After two laps, we decided to hit back to see what's up. Ellen and I didn't know what to expect, but we were pretty happy to get some free socks from YT. So I called Ellen over to sign the waiver and collect her socks as well. People were starting to gather at this point, so we decided with our wristbands on to take a peek inside the YT showroom. This was our first time at the YT mail showroom, and of course, the first bike I went looking for was the decoy. And I must say, it's real tempting. but. Let's save that for another day. What's up? Guys, how are you, man? What's up, Frankie? Mm -hmm. oh, what's happening? Oh. Good to see you. The stoke was at an all-time high. Fellow rider Josh just picked up his new YT decoy, and there's nothing better than a new bike day. He's going to be our leader. He knows the trail by heart. I'm going to pass the mic over to him. Ready. Thank you. Let's hear it for outside of I hadn't realized the amount of people that were about to drop into San Clemente single tracks, but once the rollout call was given, I was in awe. Rolling. Wow. We're going to clog up that whole entire beginner trail. <laughs> There's going to be traffic. Jam. I got to get this on camera. Holy shit. <laughs> this is a lot of... Oh shit. It was truly a once in a lifetime experience. You can feel the positive energy in the air. So many different people from all over Southern California laughing and sharing their mountain bike experiences with one another. I was trying my best to imagine how the drop-in would look like, but I knew at some point it was going to be like the five freeway on a Friday afternoon. Oh. <laughs> Yo! Blair, what's up, brother? What's up? Good to see you. How you been? And as we all inched our way closer and closer to the trailhead, I just realized it was going to be hard to control who would end up riding in front or behind us. I started to notice that there hasn't been a single name calling or trash talking about e-bikes. It felt fantastic. We weren't being judged on what we rode and people were just excited to be here and it was all about the ride and love for mountain bikes. Of course, Ellen is always freaking herself out. Just waiting for your turn to drop in made Ellen extremely nervous. It was such a tiny roll-in. Too bad, right when it was our turn, my GoPro shut off. After the initial rollout, things were about to heat up. 
Everyone was headed to the top of the jump line and dropping into sloppy seconds. How do you know? You can't go to the top of the I felt at home as familiar faces cheered me on. We all got separated during the rollout, but then somehow found each other again on the trails. That fourth one. Yeah, did you do it? It's big. <laughs> I, I was able to hit it though because I had the confidence from last time. But I just was like, okay, I'm gonna. I mean, you know what? I did. I overshot it, and I was like, that's what Adam did. <laughs> Once we all gathered, we continued towards sloppy seconds and into the crack. And what I witnessed next almost made my heart stop. Zabo doing Zabo things? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, Tony! <laughs> you can gap, you can take this jump and gap it to the next transition. It's crazy. There you go, there you go. Oh, no! You alright? I know how fast to go now. Hey! <laughs> Fortunately, he walked out with minor scratches, so we all decided to finish this sloppy seconds run. Okay, oh. There it is. Woo -hoo. Wow. Zabo. After spectating the big step up, everyone got separated again and I met up with fellow YouTuber Brett from MTB More to tow me in on this new jump line called Hammer Time. Yep. I learned a lot from my previous crash. I know I cannot afford another crash which can result me in another 6 months off the bike. For those who follow my channel during my 365 day challenge, I had a successful jump session day at San Clemente. Almost too successful. And then the next following day, I tried a double egg rear and then that broke my ankle. So I will be taking things slow and try to work on my jumps and entry speed before trying something I'm not familiar with. Hopefully with more practice, I'll get back to my former glory. This MTB community is special. And seeing regular mountain bikers and e-bikers exist as one without prejudice has been unreal. Meeting all the unique personalities in the YouTube mountain bike realm is amazing. Danny from UO SoCal, Brett from MTB More, Mark the Segment, Adam Mock, Tony the Outsider Channel. Wow, never in my life I feel like I was among people who not only shared the passion for mountain biking, but the passion for creating content. Thank you, Tony from the Outsider MTV channel, and thank you, Jeff Taylor of YT, for setting up this amazing event. I look forward to seeing you all on the next. Peace.